Hey Zeze, do you know how to say tomato in Malay? No! Tomato! Tomato! <laughs> hey fam, welcome back. We are still in post-flood situation here in Klang. In my childhood home still. Uh, today is going to be like a home style video. So, not going to be biased or anything, but my dad pretty much makes the world's best ikan bilis sambal. Like, I kid you not. I would agree. Have, have, you, have you, you tried it before? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's tried before. But I think one thing he makes just as good, if not better, is his teh halia. Ginger tea, yes. Like, so my dad doesn't cook a lot. He only makes very few things, like three, four, maybe five things. But the things he makes are the best. So good. The like, absolute perfect. best. Like I have no idea how he does it. So it's ikan sambal, immense. We're gonna, he's gonna actually cook that for us today, and the ginger tea. Okay, so we got Tata right here, and Tata also has his personal chef, Zeze, who's gonna be helping him out today. So far, are you gonna be making the ginger tea first? Yes. Ginger tea first. All right. All right. More traditional ginger tea. Uh huh. Uh, more of the Indian culture, originated from India. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But still favored by the white woman. <laughs> we also brought a couple test taste testers over too. We got some taste testers. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, Pa. What is the first step? Okay. You I gotta have the ingredients. You got. Wait, hold on. What's that, Zeze? I I want to help Tata. Okay, you can help Tata. Okay. Okay, we gotta have the. The, the ingredients to do the tea. Mm -hmm. The first thing you gotta have the tea dust. Okay. Okay, bow tea. Okay. okay we're using bow tea, tea, Cameron Highland tea, you're right. Alright. Plus your ginger, fresh ginger. Mm -hmm. And then followed by uh, this. This is called cardamom. Uh, Wap lager, cardamom. Cardamom pods, okay? Yes. Can you Ooh, see a that? handful, okay. Is that how much you're gonna use? Um, <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Alright, mm -hmm. I got it. I so you have to pound it a bit. Uh, Zayden will help us pound it. So all the measurements is aga aga? Yes, uh, more or less uh, a handful. Handful, of okay. Okay. And plus a ginger, a piece of ginger. Okay. And then uh, we have uh, condensed milk. Okay. This FNN Tetare on that slope. Great. And the tea leaf with some sugar. And now, the first step is to boil the water. Okay. We are boiling the water. I'm all done. You're all done. You're all done. I, I don't think that's all done. You're all done, but I don't think Tata's all done. Oh, it's upside down, my love. Okay. Okay, so it's like a... not completely mushed up, but just yes. a little bit. It's just a little bit. And then now, later we'll put it into the hot water. Okay. Okay, next, we are pounding the ginger. Mm -hmm. Were you helping Tata ta pound the ginger too, Zizi? Yeah! Alright. Can you put a little close there? This is not a powdered. This is fresh ginger. Fresh ginger? Yes, this is fresh ginger. Take, but do not touch the pot. Alright, it's very hot. Okay, okay so inside. in with the ginger? Alright. Put it slowly, don't throw, just put. This is food stuff. Alright, you got it. Alright. Right. So, how many tea bags are you using? For six sachets. Six bags. Okay. Six sachets. Okay. Okay, so dad also just added a bit more water because it's evaporating really fast. So it's almost a full pot. Almost. Another tea bag got thrown in there. Yeah. Oh, did you add one more tea bag? Uh, two more. Two more, okay. So two more tea bags added, so we have eight tea bags in there right now. So how much are you putting the whole thing or just? Until you get the the tea color changes. Okay. So yeah, basically the whole thing. Is that so how much was that? Is that like the whole... Oh no, not the whole thing. Maybe like two thirds. Oh, okay. I want to help. Hold on baby. Tata will, Tata will tell you why you can help. Okay, this is a bit dangerous. For a little guy. And then it's a 
tequila. Now it's time to drink it. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's see how good is our taste. Our taste. Taste test, guys. Taste test. Come. It's time. Cheers. It's a bit hot. Careful. Don't burn your lips. And remember this. How is it? Oh, it's good. Yeah. It's got like just like that little bit of spice from the ginger, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah. It's very, very sweet. That's why I don't know. Milky. Yep. Is it good? Yeah. 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 It's really good. Great. Yeah. It's my favorite tea. Ooh, wow. You made her favorite tea, Pa. Look at that. Okay. I'm glad we're recording this My so turn. we can get all the secrets and then make this better. I know, I can re I just rewatched this video over and over again. And finally I'll be able to this do it. This vlog is more just for us than for you guys, sorry. How is it? It's good. It's really good. Ooh, that's actually really good. It's the perfect ratio of cinnamon. This is like perfect it's ratio. Good ginger, I mean. Yeah, perfect ratio of ginger and even like all the other spices. I kid you not, it's literally perfect. Next, Ikan Belize Sambal. FM did this, uh, it is the Ikan Belize time. So the first step is, looks like we're blending stuff. Are we blending? Yes. Okay, what are we blending? We're blending uh, shallots. Shallots, okay. Uh, simple shallots. Sure. Okay. And that, you cut that. Are we, are we going to blend all the shallots? Yes, right. Okay, so we have about... The more you see. put, the more is better. Okay, so we have about three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about what, 10, fifteen maybe? Fifteen to twenty. Yeah, about fifteen to twenty here, shall we? So he's cutting in half. He's halving them mm, because you need to put into the the blender. Okay. And then I can switch it on. You can switch it on. Yeah. Okay. Tell them, ah, uh, you don't mix it up. You have to do it separately. Oh, the blending. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we got the onions in, and Dad just said that we have to blend it separately. So that's news to me. Uh, I always like just toss everything together and blend it. So he's just about to blend all the shallots. Uh, adding some water. And try not to put more water into the blending uh, uh, I mean direction. So that it will be more diluted. So just okay. a bit. Just, just a little enough bit. enough to turn. Oh, okay, so just a little bit water. So just enough for it to actually blend. That's amazing, yeah. Okay, so that's dried chili, but you soaked it in water, right? Yes. Okay, so how much chili did you use? About 10 to 20 chilies, dried chilies. 10 to 20, so is it like two, two handful? Ah, yes. Okay. Okay, so we got the uh, blended up shallots. And shallots. We got the blended up chili, and so what? Now we got. Are we gonna use four tomato? Yes, yeah, so one with zaitun. Oh, one with zaitun. So five tomato. Five tomato, and what's this? This is the asam jawa. Asam jawa. Um, tamarind, right? Tamarind. Tamarind. Okay. It's a hardened tamarind. Okay. 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 And okay. one more ingredient. And the main ingredient. Where's the main ingredients, Eze? Where is the anchovies? Ikan Bliss, go look for it. I find it. <laughs> okay, so in with the oil. Careful, Careful here, Eze. Careful. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let it shimmer. Yeah. Onions, we are cutting in. Uh, tomatoes. What? Oh, tomatoes, yes. Yeah, tomatoes. We are cutting tomatoes and remove the center part, which is the hardened part. Okay. So this will not cook. Got it. Anywhere you cook, you have to remove the center. Okay, you need to heat up the oil. Okay, the oil is heating up. You put in about two cups of oil. Okay. Uh, the idea to put in two cups of oil is to fry the anchovies. Okay. If not, it will be more raw. Okay. If you eat. So we have to fry the anchovies first? Yes. Okay. Okay, so put it in. Is it is the oil hot enough? No. Oh, looks like it's pretty hot. So one of the items that we almost forgot, mm -hmm. very important, is belacan. Belacan. 
Ooh. Smells funky, but it's delicious. How much blachan are you gonna use? It's about uh, two tablespoons. Okay, about two Blachana. tablespoons. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you, Uncle. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So as we were um, making the sambal, one thing we realized that we didn't have rice to taste test it with. Uh, but neighbor, so sweet, they were like, we got rice, we got you. So he shared some rice with us. Okay, our blachan is too soft and it's raw. So you need to remove the smell. To do that, you have to burn it a bit. Okay. Oh, so it's just on fire? Ah, yes. Oh, wow. Ooh, interesting. This normally they won't, they won't do, they won't do. This side, this side you get the taste more raw oh, on the sambal. Wow. So it, it gets slightly burnt and it removes the smell. Interesting. Okay, so you don't have that like fishy kind of smell mm. to it. But don't overdo it, it gets burnt. So you gotta balance. Ah, yes. Because it's watery and wet, isn't it? You remove the water. After you bring this. Uh, Roasting of the lachan, mm -hmm. we have to put it into the the chili which we pounded and mix it up. Oh, wow. oh straight put in the chili. Yes. Okay. You need to put this here, and then you'll get a better cook uh, in the pot. Interesting. All the processes are so good. Yeah. Cool. Seeing it as it happens, guys. Okay. Magic. The reason, okay, the reason I separate the chili from the shallot is you need to cook a longer time on the chili. If you mix it up, both also will get cooked very fast and you will, the chili will be raw and will upset your stomach. Got it. Because uh, so the chili needs a longer time to cook? A longer time and mm -hmm. once you see it is cooked, then you only you put your shallot. The shallot will get cooked very fast. Another important thing is this, once you put in your chili, uh -huh. you can put in your tomatoes. Okay. Okay. The idea is to put in the tomatoes earlier, uh -huh. is that once your tomato is completely smashed up in your pot, it's considered it's already cooked. Oh, okay. okay. This is the timing for the cook. So is it, is it pachamini already or not? Not yet. Oh, not yet, huh? okay. Okay, so what do we have here? We have here dried prawns. Okay. Mini prawns, dried prawns. Uh -huh. And you pound it. Okay. 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 One tablespoon of dried prawns, yeah? Yes, I pound it. Did you put it in the water first or did you just straight pound it? Yes, pound it. No water, nothing. Okay. Okay. It's already pound it. Okay, this, the idea is to put dried prawns is you enhance the taste of your, the, the blachan mm -hmm. in the pot. Man, it's already looking so good. It smells so good. It's gonna make all the neighbors jealous. Okay, what's next? Okay, we got we take a bit of tamarind, mm -hmm. or one tablespoon, mm -hmm. and dip it into the water and stir it. So we need the water of the tamarind. Okay, about one tablespoon. Yes. Oh, so we just need the water of the tamarind, not yes. the tamarind. Salt. That is the taste. We need the taste of the tamarind inside the sambal. Okay. Nothing else. More coconut water. Nothing else. Okay. Don't ever put anything else, even salt. Okay. You don't have to put salt at all. You know why? Because your anchos is already salty. Oh. Uh, okay. If you add salt, it become more saltier. Got it. So you don't need salt at all. Okay. Now we are going to put the shallots mixed with your chili, which is already been. Cooked. About 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So we are adding in the shallots. Okay. And then you put in your tomatoes. Oh, together, eh? Yes. That's all. I feel like making sambal is like 
really a labor of love. There's just so much to it. So much complexities, so much layer of like different tastes and things like that. And it takes so long to make. You know, it takes, it's, we've been here for, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes now. And it's still, it's sitting there and cooking. My dad's going in to like clean up and stuff. I'm like, it's okay, we can clean up. He's like, no, 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 I gotta clean it up now. Anyways, it's a labor of love. And that's the thing that actually really gives flavor to anything you're eating, right? So, make a good sambal for your significant other. Okay, what's happening here? Uh, we are putting in the tamarind water. Okay. Because the sambal is almost cool. All right. Mm -hmm. So just the water, right? Yes. Okay. Just the water. So it's Juice. been like cooking for what? One hour now? Uh, we haven't reached one hour yet. Maybe 45 minutes? Yes. Yeah, about 45 minutes been cooking. Okay. It's already pucha minya, so that's good. So that's when the oil separates to show that things are already cooked well. They're bringing out the neighbors. The neighbors are all coming here because they smell, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it smells, amazing. smells good, huh? It smells good. Yeah. Rachel said earlier that it's gonna be you're gonna bring out all the neighbors because of the smell. Everyone's gonna be jealous. We came running over, we couldn't smell. There you go, there you go. So you have to keep still stirring. Uh-huh. Until it gets a bit dry. Okay. And then it's considered cooked. All right. The idea is to stir is to don't let it. Uh, get burnt on the bottom mm -hmm. of the sambal. Yeah. This is such a labor of love. There's so many steps, there's ah. so many like intricacies to it. Okay, <laughs> we have done uh, nearly an hour now. Nearly an hour, okay. Uh, slow cooking to actually cook, make sure the chili and the shallots and all been cooked well. Mm -hmm. And now, can you see, look at the, at the sambal, it is dark red mm. and it's considered is almost cooked. So right. and the and the oil has separated, yeah? Yes, the okay. oil has separated. And then if you feel that there's too much of oil, you can take it out. And mm. you just serve it with the sambal. So the next step is the final step which are going to put anchors into the sambal. We can't believe Alright. Okay. This is all earlier we have fried it, isn't it? You can't put raw anchors. You have to put this. Stir it and off the flame. Oh, it's ready to be off already, okay. Yes, it's, it's done. Okay, so you're off the flame. Mm -hmm. Because the heat will just, if not, your anchovies will be overcooked inside the sambal. Ah. So now I know it's good. You got balachan, which is umami. You got ikan bilis, which is umami. You got tomato, which is also umami. And they're all combined, mixed together. Like it's so good, you don't even need salt. Yeah, you didn't put salt, right? No. No salt at all? No yeah. salt. Okay, let's try. Okay. Sure. Yep. Ah, hot. Okay. Oh my gosh. Is it cooked? It's cooked, yeah. So it tastes like? It's perfect. Okay, okay taste test by the uh, orang pute, um pute. I prefer mina sale. Mina sale, okay. I think it sounds a little nice. It's the first time? My first, first guy to taste the whole sambal. You haven't tasted? Oh, you have tasted that sambal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I see the smile. I see a little smile. Okay. Is it salty? It's a little bit salty, a little bit spicy. But we didn't put any salt. Mm -hmm. that is so the thing is the ikan bilis. Yes. It's so it good. Is so easy. Yeah, you like it? Good, see, you passed the Rachel test. Oh, okay. It's so good. <laughs> you can add in uh, I mean, boiled eggs, fried egg, half boiled egg, or you call it uh, mata kerbau, mm -hmm. or whatever it is, you can add it on with uh, tauhu, mm -hmm. or with some sayo, mm -hmm. and it goes along with anything. Nice. So, so what, last question. What else, what other things can we put? Can we put like shrimp in there, inside the sambal? Or ikan bilis is the way to go? Okay, uh, for that, Shrimp is the main item in Malaysia sambal. Okay. Okay. If you want to do something more extraordinary and change a bit, you don't have to put the shrimp. You can put in uh, uh, sotong, squids. You can put in fish mm. uh, and put in eggs. And we are just replacing the ikan bilis with that, right? Replace it with anchos. Okay. Okay. So it goes along with anything. Perfect. But you will get a very authentic taste and a very pleasant and pleasant and very wonderful taste.
with gozong with the rice. Okay. There you have it, guys. There you have it. The chef himself, the special income list himself, himself. And I, I know, I know there's like, um, oops, there's like biasness and all that because I grew, ooh, what's happening in the video? Anyway, so there's like bias, biasness and all, but the best. I, I kid you not, it is literally the best. I've never had any company sambal that's better than this. Guys, I don't think I've ever so, actually just eaten sambal. Yeah, so like Shafiq's auntie sambal is like up there, but that's just like sambal in general. But ikan be sambal is number one. Yeah. And he's out there in, in the house talking to someone on the phone. Totally fast. But seriously, the method of cooking is, I know I had to run around with the boys for a lot of it, but it's like so tedious and like every step has like all these like really specific reasons, like even like, you know, charring the blachan and mm -hmm. all that. It's so crazy. Like I, I would never think about that. Like this much work goes into a sambal. Yeah. I think I'm going to start appreciating it more when we get sambal places. Yep. But that's the video. That's it. Thank you for watching. We love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.